second and talk to you about the church. And um, I just want you guys to be careful. Um, I think we all know people who say that they're inclusive and loving, but I think those people can be the most oppressive, racist. Um, can I get an iced oat milk latte? What frustrates me the most about church people is they're always all about like love and goodness or whatever. Come on, look at the world around you, you know what I'm saying? None of this is good. Alright, so like if your God is so good and powerful, why is there so much like evil in the world? You know, like why does he make it go away? Well, um, see, God is powerful, but, and, um, oh, no, I mean, I mean, like, He is, but, uh, we, we, um, that drink that I ordered, I got, I got, I got, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Look at the world around me. Hey guys, I just None of this is good. If there is a God, God is either not all powerful or it's not a God. No problem! This has to be so much the art of the To pump up and compare to the God that shows up, we're good to go. It's not a problem. There's just an essence of why religion This is the book you go to. This has it all. This is where we grow from. This is the source of everything. And it's not just for the world, and it's not just for other believers, it's for us. Because we can have questions. We need discernment. We can have issues. We can have doubts. And where do we turn to? What gives us the anchor for our soul? It is the scriptures. This is the truth. This is authoritative. This is the definition. This is the way things have been, the way things are, and the way things always will be. We go back to this book, and it never disappoints us because it gives us that which is not only eternal, but the absolute truth.